how many of you like pizza? How many of you would like to make pizza in an RV that doesn't have an oven? Stay tuned, today I show you how to make pizza and I give you a hot grill tip right out of the gate. Stay tuned. Appreciate you tuning in today. My name is Scott, I am your host. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large. We are a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing the learnings from the road with you as I live full-time in my Winnebago Travado, a 21-foot camper van, ditched the traditional sticks and bricks house, ditched the over-air-conditioned corporate cube, live and work in this bad girl, her name's Lily, full-time since February 2019. What is all this commotion going on around me? And as important, where is the table to set up a pizza making apparatus? Let me show you this hot tip. Before hot tips, we want to say hi to Luke. This is Van Life Luke. Luke! What do you think of the Super Show, Luke? Mmm. Smells like a farm, he thinks. Alright, so what happens when your campsite doesn't include a picnic table, it's more like a parking lot? Well, let's say you have a portable po propane grill and you have a bike rack, this is what you can do. I have a Charbroil portable propane grill and it fits just perfectly in the bike rack, slats, propane, and uh, I have used this many, many times and this works perfectly when there's no table, like this case right now. I'm up with a method to uh, grill pizza on the propane grill. Um, it needs kind of two things. One is a heat underneath to crisp the crust and heat on top to uh, you know, cook the ingredients on top of the flatbread. It's really thin crust pizza. So what I've done is I've gone to Home Depot and I've bought a raw flat stepping stone rock. This is natural material. And then I've had it cut from um, a guy that I found that was doing a tile job. So he cut the pieces off to fit the grill, which almost fit perfectly. And now this fits right in here into the grill. I'll put the dimensions here. And what I'm gonna do is let this heat up. We wanna get this nice and warm. And while that heats up, we're gonna make the ingredients in the rig. And we're gonna bring it out and cook it here. All right, so what I've done here for the pizza ingredients is I have prepared pizza dough. And this is a dough that I bought from the deli at your local grocery store. And uh, it's still kind of warming up. It's been in the fridge overnight, so it's a little not as fluffy as I'd like. What I'm going to do is actually put this on this. Hello and thank you, Travato Extension. Put flour on this so it doesn't stick and kind of roll this out. And then onto that, we're going to uh, put the ingredients. So let's get the dough ready and let it kind of warm up a bit. I'm going to put just a little bit of the flour on here just to get it slick. Okay, one of the pizza flatbread doughs, and again, this is from the local supermarket. Okay. And since everything has to have dual purpose in a Class B RV, this is a muddling device when you're making a cocktail. I'm going to use it as a roller. All right, because my dough is not quite where I want it due to being refrigerated and now rushed, um, we're going to move forward anyway. It's going to taste great. It just isn't going to win a beauty contest. What? <laughs> but you'll know, you certainly get the idea here, and that's what half of this is about, is just conveying the idea. Oh, that is just the world's ugliest pizza crust. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> that looks absolutely horrible. But you get the idea, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually paint that with a little bit of uh, olive oil so that the spaghetti sauce doesn't sink in too much and then we're going to put the ingredients in. Okay, olive oil, just a little bit. Ooh. All right, so like any good pizza, the ingredients consists of pizza sauce, cheese, mushrooms, tomatoes, Sausage and clamata, is that how you say that? Pitted olives. These olives are awesome. Let's build a pizza. Alright, 
So while the pizza crust didn't turn out all that great, that looks pretty good, right? Uh, now, one thing I should have done is put some cornmeal um, on the plate first and then the pizza crust so that would slide off really easily. We definitely want to put pizza, uh, put the, the cornmeal on the stone uh, so that it slides on and off. So let's go check the temperature of that. I think this is in pretty good shape. Um, looks pretty good, right? Luke. Oh, he's bored already. Always come say hello to you. All right, let's check the grill. So we'll put the uh, cornmeal on, and that allows it to come off of the stone easily. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, if you're wondering what this yellow box is, this is the junction box for the electric. Um, so I'm at the Super Show in Tampa, January, what's the date today? Mm. 13 and uh, it's 82 degrees it's it's in the evening so it's cooling down this is a lovely time to do a video like this um, so I'm gonna go grab the pizza and uh, we're gonna put that in here in just a few minutes let this uh, thing heat up make sure the stone is good and warm um, I was just really uh, kind of excited to do, do this experiment and tried it at home base a couple of times and it worked great here's a couple pictures of that um, the result is really really nice um, so this is just kind of a quick how-to and uh, give you guys some inspiration on how to do this. Pizza in a Class B RV. Let's go grab the pizza. <laughs> it's more like a pizza pocket. Oh my God, this is embarrassing, but we're rolling with it because you get the idea, right? If I put cornmeal on the paper plate before I put the pizza dough on there, this would not have been a problem. It's probably going to be okay to get off because there's cornmeal on there. Oh my God, that looks absolutely yummy and gross at the same time. Hang in there with me, guys. So let's take a quick peek. All right, it's looking pretty good to me. It looks really good for being a little bit of a mess, but uh, let's get this off of here and let's take a bite. Mm. <laughs> it looks pretty good, right? A little unattractive, I have to admit. All right, let's go. Pretty good, right? Let's, let's take a bite. It's a personal pizza, really? Oh my God, it's hot. Ow, ow, ow. Mmm. The crush is crisp. Mmm. That is really good. Um, if my dough had been a little better prepared um this was kind of rushed sorry about that um this would look absolutely beautiful and that proves that you can do pizza in a class b rv with your portable propane grill and get a good really good result the stones of the size you can probably get two flatbread pizzas um at once so you would um, need to have a, a little bit of a, a turn on that but um you can certainly have a little bit of a pizza party here in your travato and uh, I'm pretty good. Mm, hot. Well, it's not pretty. It's going down real easy. I'm <laughs> sure I appreciate you tuning in today. If you got something out of that, give it a thumb up. Really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we just crossed 4,000 subscribers. Is that crazy great? Um, share, comment. As always, I appreciate you being along for the journey. Uh, my name is Scott. Thank you for tuning in to another Dine In at Travado. I'll see you soon. It's Super Show RV Week here in Tampa. It's going to be a great week. All right, it's a little bit of a pet peeve and a little bit of a tangent here. How many of you have bought fresh herbs in the little uh, plastic bubble pack that comes in the grocery? You usually get, you know, three sprigs of rosemary for two to three dollars. Maybe basil, you get a little bit of a stem with, 
you know, four or five leaves and it costs how much again two to three bucks probably look at this this is basil this is the same sweet basil bought at the grocery uh, arguably in way better shape and it's about a bushel and this is bought at an asian grocery this whole bag two bucks two dollars this is enough to make pesto out of so here's the shopping tip for you if you've never uh, experienced an asian grocery go find one in your area and check out things like this this is such an incredible deal two bucks for this bag um, versus two bucks for four leaves at the grocery store especially if you're making pesto